Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be playing a deck based around a card called Verity Circle. Uh, when it first came out, a lot of people thought it was basically going to make any Convoke or Tokens deck useless. Uh, it's fairly narrow, so it hasn't actually done that, partly because token decks have gone down in popularity for other reasons, and partly because this card's just terrible when your opponent's not Convoking. However, we've managed to make a spicy budget deck around it. Uh, last time we played a budget deck on Arena, it was budget in paper, about $30, $40 maybe. $20 to $40 actually. Uh, but when I went to craft it on Arena, I realized that it was full of a bunch of like $1 rares. And it was a lot of wild cards on Arena. So, this time, we bring you budget Arena decks. Meaning that it is budget for your arena account. Uh, this one also is probably incredibly budget. Oh, wait, no. Watery Grave. Um, besides Watery Grave, it's probably very budget uh, in paper. However, for arena, you only need 10 rare wild cards for it, which actually uh, can be a lot. But four of them are um, dual lands, which you're going to probably want to get at some point anyway. And... That's not ba that bad, I don't think, for a two-color deck. There's obviously cheaper one-color decks, but for a two-color deck, this one isn't bad. The basic idea of the deck, as I said, is Verity Circle. Whenever an opponent creature, opponent's creature becomes tapped uh, and isn't attacking, you can draw a card. So, best way to abuse this, tap our opponent's creatures for them. It already does that for five mana, but there's a lot of cheaper ways to do that. Merfolk Trickster, Frost Links. Water Trap Weaver, uh, and I'm not sure why we're playing more Frost Links than Water Trap Weavers, because Water Trap Weavers is a wizard, whereas Frost Links isn't, uh, so we're just going to change that right now, and uh, Sleep and Earthful Takedown. Now, once we've drawn the cards, we can do a couple things. We can just beat face with a bunch of random 2-2s, uh, Merfolk Trickster, Frost Links, Water Trap Weaver, whatever. Uh, what we can also do is we can play Reliquary Tower, keep those all in our hand, again, sleep and beat down with 2-2s, or we can cast Awakening the Earth well. Each player discards all the cards in their hand, then creates that many 2-2 zombies. So if we play this right, we'll be getting rid of two or three cards from our opponent's hand, they make a few zombies, but we get rid of their cards, and their cards are probably worth more to them than zombies, and we're making, like, 10-12 zombies, and we're just gonna end the game like that. Um, other than that, we have Opt to smooth out our draws, Spell Pierce and Negate, just as counter spells, they're useful in a blue deck when you're trying to stay alive. Fountain of Renewal, Life Gain to stay alive. Cast Down, uh, always good at killing creatures, also good for staying alive. Seems to be a recurring theme here. Can't draw cards if you're dead, so I, lo I love drawing cards. Drawing cards is why I play Magic, um, but I can't draw cards if I'm dead. And then, other than that, uh, we have our dual lands, normal lands, and reliquary tower, because reliquary tower is sweet. We're gonna try it out in some games and see how it works, or see how it does. I guess is a better way to put it. Oh, that's bad. We need to fix our audio for arenas. Oh, I love this. Known cards in our opponent's hand are shown face up, fully visible. No need to take notes. Except when they're cascading. In which case, there's no way uh, on arena, on arena itself, to keep track of what you've seen from the cascade. So you have to write them down really fast while simultaneously looking at their exile. There's also several other. Uh, when it's look, uh, put the cards on the bottom of your library in any order. Although you do not know the exact location of those cards, you know that those three cards, or in random order rather, you know that those exact three cards are on the bottom in some order. So you know those three cards are on the bottom. Whether or not, so there is need for taking notes. I'm sorry, whoever, uh, arena people, I guess, or arena. Why 
One awakening the erstwhile. We just need lands and tappers. That's a tapper. Now we just need lands. Oh, bye bye, Verity Circle. Unless they take like awakening the erstwhile. Which gives them a laugh. Speaking of which, I'm not sure how this deck does against control. <laughs> I think we just get crushed by control. I mean, I could just awaken the erstwhile fifth turn and hope we get rid of enough of their strong cards. Or if they make Sahili tokens, we can like. Destroy them using their own Sahili tokens in Verity Circle, but. Okay, now we have our three lands. We want Verity Circle. Don't we? Uh, Verity Circle. Ah, oh, I just. Th I think I just showed them a card that they didn't know about. I'm stupid! <laughs> Alright, so Narset, that also wrecks us. I'm not sure if this is already just turned into a Logan Gets Wrecked compilation. Pass counter to fairy. <laughs> we play. We could play something to start pressuring their set. Um, but yeah, then we, then they dropped a fairy on us, and then we can't. This card becomes useless. Oh, interesting. I just have to counter that. That's unfortunate. I think if I had a sideboard for this deck, it would probably be full of. Just cards that uh, wreck control. My own nurse sets. <laughs> um, Jurass Thought Erasure. Maybe not Jurass. I don't have that. I have 10 black sources in this deck. Um, what other cards wreck? Carnage Turn. No. Um, not going that deep. Um,. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop this up because I don't think I can win. Kefnut seems like it'd be pretty good against control. Um, Immortal Sun. This deck could definitely use some help against control. Wow, that that there is a creative name. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I love turning my Merfolk Tricksters into Ancestral Recalls. And the best part is it's a May ability. It's a May, right? Yes, it's a you May. <laughs> Which means I don't have to deck myself. Unlike Guild Summit and about a thousand other things. Oh, uh, looks like we're playing against that Teamer Cavalcade deck. Where they play Cavalcade, Spitfire, Scorch Spitter, but also Risen Reef and other elementals. So it's kind of an elemental deck with the one power, one toughness thing. What? Maybe not. I don't remember them playing that, but that could just be me having really crappy memory. <laughs> Alright, card draw, engine numero one. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Oh, sweet! Absolutely! Please! I love drawing cards. Alright, looks like we're taking four. Yep. Ow. Um... I guess we could pass, kill, scorch, spreader, tap something. Tapping stuff doesn't do much right now. Verity circle we can cast, but we're getting beaten in the face pretty hard. Yeah, I like passing and probably using artful takedown here. I like that play a lot. All right. Absolutely, we will draw a card happily. Oh, uh, Merfolk Trickster, that's a good one. I'm 
I'm just, no. Oh, yeah, that resolves, and I think we're killing that. Yeah. Both modes. Whoa! Crap! Both modes, take two. Tap. Kill that sucker. There we go. Draw a card. We're drawing cards faster than you, opponent. Uh, yeah. Sure, gain a life. Let's go to Yep. I'm hesitant right now to play out these Verity Circles, partly just because... Uh... I'm taking a turn off and getting beat in the face when I don't need the card draw. I have a full hand of cards. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to Frost Links. Tap down Scorch Spitter. And hopefully we'll draw land so we can Merfolk Trickster. That would be great. Uh, pay two life. On their upkeep. Tap down Scorch Spitter. Discard one of my Verity Circles, I think. That thing. That thing. That thing. I'm very descriptive today. <laughs> Absolutely draw a card. Okay, tap the land. I guess that's one of the disadvantages of playing a budget deck. Uh, yeah. Wish I had a Vraskless Contempt. Oh, but that turns lands into creatures, and then they tap the creatures. Or the lands for mana, which is tapping creatures. <laughs> and we get to kill the creatures. Oh, even... Uh, do you want to just suck it up and take five? If they do, though, then we can't attack Nissa. No, I think that's a weak play. I think we have to take it and hope. Um, well, that's dead. Uh, this one. Prevent that from untapping. Technically, it doesn't tap it, therefore, it does not draw as a card. Land for turn. Um, I think we're gonna attack. Can we even. No, we can't attack this with both. We're gonna die. We'll do that. I don't like this at all. I do not like this one bit. Oh, okay. Oh, man, I think we're dead now. Oh, yeah, we're super dead. We are super dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, taking my ball and going home. Aha, we attacked with one creature. We're getting there with our daily challenges. <laughs> I like this, I think. This Reliquary Tower and this Merfolk Trickster don't mix, but... Alright, looks like we're playing against Merfolk. This is gonna be an interesting matchup. Not easy, but interesting. Oh, if they destroy this Verity Circle, it's gonna be a very boring matchup. Alright. Yep. We're getting attacked for a crap load here. Um. Ow. K 
can't do Wizards Retort plus Moon from Trickster because we don't actually have the blue mana for that. Because I misspelled this deck's mana base. Oh, oh, sweet. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think I'll actually take the island here. Maybe that's the wrong play. Sure. Oh, that's very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I could have Wizards retorted that. That's a very strong card. That's a card that needs to get artful takedowned. Artfully taken down. Yep, opponent draws a bunch of cards. So we can make a few zombies, but they'd make more. That being said, they have no cards, whereas we could redraw them. Oh man. I think we're going to wait one turn exactly. Okay, upkeep, because we don't want them drawing cards off a of Seafloor Oracle next turn. So we're just going to get it out of the picture right away. Very circle, how interesting. Oh yeah, let's get that garbage out of here. We don't need any more of that. Uh, okay, sure. That's annoying. That's the card around you. Oh, sweet, no attacks. I can live with that. Um, we're being stupid here because we probably intended on awakening the erstwhile, but we're doing every play to make that play the worst one. All right, and then I think we're doing the same Merfolk, uh, Trickstering, Seafloor Oracle, and Upkeep play. Oh yeah, that's a strong card. That's a really strong card. That's a card I wish I'd awaken the Earth Wild away. That's also a card that's going to encourage them to attack, making this sleep pretty damn bad. Okay, we still have lots of untapped creatures. But I, no attacks. No more attacks. Oh, <laughs> don't. Uh, block. Block. Blocking here. Now we're only taking four. Keeping one creature around. I think these are the best blocks. Yeah, down to six. Alright. Oh. Nope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Drawing lots of cards. Oh, cast down. That's a good one. Looking at our opponent's board. Uh, I'm just going to opt. Look for more tappers. Maybe another land? No. Uh, this Reliquary Tower is a pretty bad land. But okay, I'd rather the island than Spell Pierce. But we're going to have to draw the Spell Pierce at some point. I didn't attack because I'm stupid. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason there not to attack. Alright, more creatures for our opponent. Yep. Swamp. Let's tap our mana properly. Otherwise it will tap our mana improperly. And up oh, there. Right. Let's kill this now. 
and then upkeep stock. Tap down the other thing next. Oh man, we might be dead. <laughs> I didn't do the math on that. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, I don't think we're dead. That's reassuring. Oh, I should have hit the resolve all button. But I'm done. Yep. Come on, Rivers, rebuke me. Because that's the only thing Spell Pierce is useful again. Alright. Here and here. I don't care about losing those lockers too much here. Because I think the play is making a bunch of blockers. Yep, gain a life. Land! Oh geez. Maybe we're not making a bunch of blockers this turn. Maybe we're waiting a turn. Oh, right, that didn't actually draw us cards because we're stupid. Tap this one down so we can draw some actual cards like an actual smart human being. Stop on upkeep, tap down seafloor oracle. After attacking like a smart person! Oh man. Imagine I lose because I haven't attacked all this time. I mean, it's plausible. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, should have hit the resolve all button, but I'm still stupid. <laughs> all right. Sure. Yeah, I should have. Oh, no, never mind. I think my play was correct, unfortunately. I wish I didn't have to. I think the drawing cards play was correct. Oh, sweet. Um, land. This thing. Tap that down. 22 cards in our library. So this is the point where we start to consider winning. Because winning is useful. Tap that. Draw card. Don't think we're... I think I'm fine with this card. Sleep. We can play Frost Links. Oh, yeah, we have to because we made the dumb mistake of not tapping down the mystical carol. Like an idiot. We can't have that attacking us out of nowhere for lethal. Um. So they're attacking one, two, three. Cards, four. I think it's safe to attack with three of these. Very technical uh, analysis here. Just like, oh yeah, I think it's safe. I don't know. All right, that makes it safe. Because now they only have three chapters, we have three blockers. Sixteen cards in our library. If after this uh, Awaken the Earth Royal goes off, they then um, is that the right play? Yeah, I think so. If after this Awaken the Earth Royal goes off, they then Rivers rebuke me. I am literally gonna cry. All right, sleep. Draw six cards, hopefully. 
down to a healthy nine hertz. <laughs> I was gonna say you post deploy draws us even more cards, but it doesn't because <laughs> we have no more creatures to tap on our opponent's side of the board. So now we're just gonna slam a nice friendly awaken the earth while. Boom. All attack. <laughs> I won a game! I won a game! If this is Rebu River's Rebuke, I'm literally gonna cry. Okay, we won a game. That was <laughs> the Wombo Combo. We actually won a game. Yeah, let's just attack. Get her attack with stuff challenge. Attack with 22 creatures. GG. Set of the wreckage with us. <laughs> That's the great part about this deck. It wins, but only after having like 30 cards in hand. Okay, I'm exaggerating. It was 17, I think. Yeah, 17, I believe. But <laughs> but that's that's what I like about the deck. I think I'll keep the uh, no no tapping synergies. Sleep is our only tapper. I think I'll keep this one. Get rid of a guild gate. I don't know. Wow. Um, not sure why we. This person could be playing a very good deck, but <laughs> this does not signal good deck to me. Oh, uh, we're gonna just prevent them from attacking, you know what? Alright. Cool. Uh, I want a Verity Circle! Bad pass. Uh, oh, I probably should have let that through to see what they were going to do. Yeah, probably a good thing I didn't let it through because I just won because I didn't. So, that was fun. Good, clean fun. Seventy. What? Why are we getting paired against these decks? Like they have the very fancy Kaya thing in the sleeves, but I'm kind of curious about the seventy-six or seventy-seven cards and their deck thing. Oh well, we have the life gain engine going. Just need a verity circle. Adding a verity circle. Do this first in case we draw a mere guild gate, because we're not going to be. What? I mean, we're getting free wins today, so I don't care, but I'm. <sighs> not sure why we're getting free wins. Uh, yeah. Well, keep going, because free wins good. Free wins are gold and cash. Or not cash. 
uh, gold and gems. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This hand's... Ooh, fancy. This hand's dicey. This is at least, but hopefully we'll find some tapping shenanigans. That's not a tapping shenanigan, but since we're not going to be doing anything next turn, that lets us take one card deep, deeper, so we'll keep it. I literally wrote part of my Mono Blue article about how you should keep opt off the opt a lot of the time. Obviously, if you don't have the time to play, it's different, but just as far as digging deeper goes, always keep the opt off the opt. All right, opponents ramping, ramp. Uh, very. <laughs> I just realized. Oh my god, I can't believe it took me this long to realize this. <laughs> very circle completely screws over my opponent's deck. They uh, they they could pro they probably have thrashing brought on, and we're probably gonna end up crying in our soup when they have like Vivian Reed. But like, they literally get <laughs> make mana without drawing us cards. Oh, this is great until they play the Vivian Reed. Okay. Yeah, that that's a big one. <laughs> Draw us right into our cast down. Wait, it was already in your hand. Actually let's have some fun tapping it down first. That sounds like more fun. <laughs> oh man. Um I think I'm not gonna Put too much work into tapping it down yet. Should I? We could use this to draw two. I'm gonna play the Demir Gilgate and just cast it down. What? Pass. Not drawing absurd numbers of cards until I have Reliquary Tower, I don't think. Unless I'm going to draw them all in one turn. Okay. Draw a card. They're getting their maximum value mana wise out of making us draw cards. Ooh, fancy! We can't cast down that one. Good thing I have sleep. And then Awaken the Earth to block. I'm going to have to use it at some point, probably. So that's, that's good for them, but I mean. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a this is our dream matchup. Um, land. Put it to sleep. Uh, sure, start gaining life for when you get punched in the face with that current parent. And we have to just we have to start discarding cards. Wizard's Retort, I think. I don't want to keep up mana here in particular. I'm just going to discard a land because we can always draw more of them fairly easily when we're drawing 13 and a half cards per turn. Verity Circle. And we're mentally preparing ourselves right now to get punched in the face of the Carnage Tyrant. Because, yeah. Right now, what we're looking to do is probably not kill a Mana Dork. They're a great source of card draw. We'll probably tap down those if they don't use them for mana or tap down whatever they play. Draw cards, basically. Now that we have Reliquary Tower, we're trying to fill our hand up as much as possible. Worst case end step, we're gonna tap one of those down just to start filling our hand and use the available mana because if we wait until next turn then yeah. We lost mana. Ooh, fancy. That that's drawing almost as much cards as us. Or as many? I'm stupid. As many. Oh wait, that was only two. Actually, to be fair, we only drew two cards off of that. Um, 
Yep. Tap it down. Start the card draw going. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is so much card draw. Just trying to get to a sizable awakened use block. Ooh, we can't cast down that. Okay. That's annoying. Making sure we don't deck. Oh, yeah, 30. Oh, sweet, sweet. Are we going to get the advantage of drawing full cards off of it? Uh, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Uh, sleep. Uh, yeah, draw four cards. Holding up poison through Tor. That's a pretty tame Hydra. We're still gonna care about that. Oh man. Opponent hasn't conceded though. I will give them credit for that. This one, 25. We don't draw any cards off of that. We just make sure it doesn't attack his next turn. Pass. Yeah, pass. We're probably gonna, uh, before combat, we're more folk tricks during this hydroid cast is drawing two cards, preventing it from attacking. Oh, looks like they're going Actually, yeah, let's use Merfolk Trickster. I wanted to draw the extra card off a of Depose Deploy, but I like this better because now we get to block as well. Get rid of Incubation Druid, triple block, save ourselves some life. Draw some extra cards. Looks like they're going to adapt it in response and then tap it for a bunch of mana. <laughs> For five mana in response. And then like combined with the land royal for three mana, put plus one plus one counters on everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, that's a good play by them. That means that we can't triple block. Oops. Uh don't mind me just being dumb. <laughs> yep. Oh double the awaken awaken the erstwhile. No blocks. We'll just take the eight, whatever. No, that's that's not increasing the number of cards in your hand. Well, it's just getting us faster to decking. Oh, don't we can't draw any more cards on our turn unless they tap that on this turn because that has hexproof and we can't tap any of our other our, our opponent's creatures unless we draw another sleep. All right, land for turn. We're still gonna play this. Just to keep Galta from untapping, I think. Or actually, you know what's more important to keep from untapping? The flyer. Except we just use our one thing that we can use to prevent to keep to keep stuff from untapping. Oh no, we don't have enough black mana! Don't. So we can kill the Hydroid Crassus. But then we can't awaken the Earth while. But if we don't kill the Hydroid Crassus, it's going to punch us in the face. So we have to do that. And now I'm sad. Fountain of Renewal. We start, we're gonna try to start getting some of the better cards out of our hand. While keeping as many cards in our hand as possible, because Awaken the Earth Swap. Yep, yeah, resolves. 
Not much we can do about that. We could spell pierce it, but that's useless. Spell pierce it is better off as a zombie when we awaken the erstwhile. Until, of course, they go and find a frilled mystic here. But I don't think they play that. I could be wrong. That being said, I don't think I would have guessed that they were playing Galta. Would have guessed that they're playing Carnage Tyrant and Voracious Hydra, but would not have guessed Galta. Not sure if I if I'd guess Vivian Reed either, or Vivian Champion of the Wilds. You know what, we're not gonna put them into combat. Again, tapping down Incubation Druid. Uh to block Carnage Tyrant. That being said, they could probably three mana. 8 mana, 13, uh, 11 mana, uh, so they shouldn't be able to activate that twice and screw us over. Once should be more than enough, which means we should still be able to block Carney T. Ow. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, we'll kill Carney T and take a bunch of damage here, I think. Oh, wait, we only need four of those, which means we can chump block, because we're going to have lots of blockers and a little bit less life very soon. So, I, our life is more precious than our creatures at this point, just because these are all blockers. All blockers. Oh, another reliquary tower. Actually, let's play a swamp. Do we have a swamp in here? All right, Demir Gilkey. We'll do. Actually, Demir Gilkey, I think, is better. Um, keep this from untapping. Untapping makes our lives a little bit easier. Um, this thing. Thirteen zombies. Wow, thirteen's a magical number. We've made thirteen zombies twice, I believe. So if we get to go to attacks, we're getting our daily challenge, I think. Could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm getting my 45 attacks. No, actually, I think it was last time it was 70. I don't remember. Opponents really digging for an answer. They found it quickly, which means either it completely screws us over, or there was no other real options that were even worthy of consideration. Biogenic ooze. Alrighty. We can tap two of their creatures. They can block. So obviously we're not going to block uh, tap down mana dorks because then in response they'll use those mana dorks to just make more blockers. So we have to tap down say biogenic ooze and ooze. Uh, then they have one, two, three, four blockers. So they block two of those and we get in for enough. <laughs> that That's as far as I'm going with the math. None of these can make more than one blocker. Which means they shouldn't be able to make blockers out of nowhere. Oh crap, did we tap down two things? Oh god, I screwed up. Uh, I think I screwed up. <laughs> I think I screwed up big time. Next. Yeah, I screwed up big time. I didn't tap down the things I was said I was gonna tap down. All right. Uh, time. Nope, we can't do that now. We have to do that on their turn, right? So wait, we tap down that and that, and we still take lethal. So no, we have to dig for sleep, which means we do have to tap something. Oh, that was stupid to tap. We literally just said we weren't going to tap mana dorks. Face palm. <laughs> um. Actually, yeah, this I still might be able to kill us if we sleep, but. Yeah. Let's see if we can draw sleep. Oh. How many sleeps are we playing? Three. One, two. Okay, we have a third in the deck. But we 
can't actually find it in time. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm still stupid. So we'd only be able to tap two creatures, which means two more creatures would have get in, gotten in, so they'd still be at two. Am I unable of doing math? I think I'm unable of doing math. No, we would have tapped two of those. They would have had one, two, three, four blockers. We had... Oh, no, because... What? I give up. This is too complicated. I can see it. <laughs> oh, thinking makes my brain hurt. First day of school. <laughs> All right, we still got a daily challenge, so yay. I think we're going to play one more game, because if you watched any of my videos, you know I hate ending on a bad note. For example, going off and then losing because I'm stupid. I, I, I count that as going off on a bad note. So let's. Oh god, this is terrible. Keep. Alright, Verity Circle, let's hope they're actually playing some creatures. Maybe angels, because they're really big. Sure, it doesn't give us a lot of creatures to tap, but it means like one tapper can do a lot. That being said, Verity Circle doesn't work for tapping any of our opponent's creatures. Ooh, look, they're playing against angels. Why is that over there? Shouldn't it be over their own library? Whatever. You know what? I don't, I don't know, man. So this doesn't work for tapping any of this stuff. Ooh, Safari, very fancy. So we have to use stuff like Water Trap Weaver. Except we're not going to use that yet because we only have one of them. So we want to draw maximum cards from it, which means getting both Verity Circles out first. Sure, take three. Oh, Vigilance. I didn't even know that card had that. Uh, honor the God Pharaoh. Sure. <laughs> It's not a great counter target, but I like the fact where they discard a card as an additional cost and then I counter it. I don't know. I find that funny. I think I'm going to use the Water Trap Weaver here. It's not getting great value, but the Vigilance lets us tap it, so I love Vigilance on that card now, officially. Um, and it draws us some cards. I think it's better than just passing and doing nothing. Now we Wizard's Retort, probably, the first spell. Oh, just wiping the board? Sure. Not gonna counter that. If they wanna wipe my 1 2 2, uh, I'm fine with that. I have plenty more 2 2s. Interesting. So it looks like our opponent's stumbling. However, we have the problem of our deck can't apply pressure. I mean, we can play more Verity Circles, so. Now we're Ancestral Recalling, I guess, but we can't actually get them dead. We can hopefully play enough. What? What's in their deck? Oh, yeah. Tap stuff. We are applying literally no pressure. <laughs> We're literally just letting them draw their lands. Uh, no. Because that still does damage even when we tap it down. <laughs> sure, we can make it lose abilities, but that one's scary. Wish I could counter this to make them discard the drag yourself for nothing. Well, it looks like this is actually a reanimator deck. Now that I think about it. Yeah, the amount of discard they have plus the bond of revival. I don't think they actually care about casting any of these. 
angels, demons, or dragons. So it's like Kalia reanimator. That's actually a cool idea. I like that. Okay, we're gonna use. They finally gave us a creature, so we're gonna use it to draw four cards. Because drawing four cards seems like good clean fun. Ooh, reliquary tower, fancy. We don't need the Reliquary Tower yet. I'd rather get the extra black source out when we don't have a huge use for mana. We'll play Reliquary Tower next turn before we have to discard to hand size again. There's no reason to play it this game, this turn. Wow. Yet yeah, you can have Dragon Seth, sure, because we can just tap that down easily. Unfortunately, it's legendary, so <laughs> this gas down is doing nothing! And it has, yeah. Our removal is really bad. Our only removal here is tapping the crap out of everything we have on the battlefield. Just tapping everything they have, trying to get as many cards in hand, so... Because we have the combo assembled, we have Awaken the Earth while and we have Reliquary Tower. Pass the turn, and same idea, Merfolk Trickster, Verity Circle, tapping. Nope, no Dragon's Death for you. Excellent. 28 cards in deck. Probably not gonna deck ourselves yet. Yet. Yeah. Oh, Wizard's Retort, that's a useful one. Sleep, that's a useful one for getting around Hexproof. Or just lots and lots of creatures. Oh, should have tapped it, we're stupid! Oh, <laughs> they didn't attack. Because they didn't want the creature to die. Well, thank you for leaving that creature around, opponent. That's exactly what we wanted you to do. Twenty-two cards. We can draw more than that, right? 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 Stop it! Stop trying to draw cards yourself! Only I'm allowed to draw cards! <laughs> I think I'm gonna start attacking. Because I don't think there's any reason not to, right? Uh, can we tap anything? Do we want a bigger wick in the earth pile than this? Actually, not particularly. This is this one's big enough, I think. Whatever. <laughs> Can't. Oh, Jagger that's actually gonna <laughs> do some damage here because we have no way to tap it down because Verity Circle don't work like that. But it's okay. Sure. That's. I've had bigger Awaken the Earth Wells, and we still gave our opponent four cards, so. And they're gonna drag you set us, so. That was under the category of less successful. Uh. Awaken the Earth Wells. Yeah, I wish we could tap this down before format. No flying suck. Okay, they're killing three of our things. We're gonna start. We're gonna start tapping down our stuff so we can hit more effective attacking in. Ideally, lethal attacks. And digging for sleep, because sleep is good. And just rebuilding in general after losing our entire hand. Murfolk Trickster is not sleep, however, it helps us against future Jake and attacks, so I like it a lot. Yep, down to 22. That's what Fountain of Renewal is for. Huh? 
No. Very circle. No. This also protects us against. Wait, so. That protects us against Dracky Seth, but not if we tap dead another zombie. They have four blockers. We're gonna tap as many zombies as uh, we can and hope that we have lethal. I'm pretty sure we have lethal. But, better safe than sorry. Don't think we need to draw any more cards than that. Nah, actually we're gonna draw a card because I'm a hypocrite. Ah! Attack! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Awaken the Earth dwells! Quite the card. I love how they printed those both in the same set though. It's like almost like they were intending for us to make this. I'm not gonna get into conspiracy theories though. Yeah, this deck, this deck's a lot of fun, because when you win, you win spectacularly, but it's not super strong. It's it's a fun deck, for sure. It is for doing fun things like making eleven zombies after drawing most of your deck. Um. Yeah, I don't think I have much more to say, so hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, press the like button, wherever it is, and even if you didn't like the video, press the like button, because I have to make jokes about this occasionally, otherwise people will forget that I make annoying jokes like this, and yeah, I'll see you next time I do one of these videos.